uh, agenda questions, please limit your questions at this time to resolutions under new business on this agenda. As a matter of fairness, you're asked to limit your questions to no more than one and your remarks to no longer than three minutes. If you're here representing a group, please identify yourself, the group, and your position within the group. If you're here as an individual, please give us your name and address. This section of public participation will be limited to 15 minutes. Please specify the resolution to which you're referring in your question. Evelyn Sockbauer, 43 Thunderhead Place. Um, okay, Q of a capital project, um, the storefront replacement and concessionary. Can we have a description of the improvements for that project? It's all you, Mr. Blaker. Thank you. Um, two things for that uh, project. Um, one is to establish a dedicated area for the uh, concession during uh, football games and uh, hopefully looking to expand it to other events as well. Uh, and also the general building envelope, the building exterior, uh, to improve that as well. Uh, that's uh, windows as well as uh, wall coverings, both interior and exterior, uh, to help improve the, um, um, the, the structure. Okay, so no concrete plans yet, just still in the planning or? Yeah, just still in the planning for that. It hasn't been uh, contracted out or awarded. It's a project that is potentially planned for uh, June of next year mm -hmm. uh, because of that building and the use that it gets following the end of uh, the spring sports season is when it would uh, likely take place. Okay. Um, S, transfer cap, current cap surplus funds. Um, can you tell us what the balance now is in the capital reserve account after you transfer in the 2.5? Um, if we transfer 2.5, because again, that's the maximum amount that we could after uh, the books have been audited. Um, taking into account what we budgeted to um, take out of capital reserve next year, uh, we'd have about $7 million. Okay, thank you. And then uh, the professional design services with um, uh, Tokarski. Yeah. Uh, can you just describe um, the uh, proposal? between us and the architects? Um. The proposal um, is really threefold. Um, it, it talks about phase one, two, and three of proposing the building moving forward. Phase one is a lot of survey work. Phase two is putting together um, more than conceptual drawings that we showed at the last board meeting. It would more be um, real architectural mm -hmm. drawings, and this is what it looks like based on the survey results. Um, it also includes going to the Department of Ed and getting approval, um, and the third phase of that would be building. Okay, and this would go against our credit towards them for the other project, yes? No? Yes? The proposal represents what we would do for this project. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Superintendent, report. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I had to do it. Um, just, just a couple of things this evening. The first is, um, for, all, for all of us and those of you here who may or may not have had the opportunity to attend the high school and the middle school graduation, kudos um, to the high school and middle school staff for once again putting something that I believe any parent would be proud um, to, have their, to have their kids graduate. Um, it's really a, a well-oiled machine in both ways, from the eighth grade to, to the high school, and uh, I'm sure I speak for the board in saying how proud we were. Uh, to be a part of the accomplishments of our students and those that were helped along um, with a lot of dedication and love from our teachers. So I do want to make reference to that. The second thing is, is that um, we have recently held a Mindful Practices Summer Institute. And I bring that up because it involved 54 teachers, counselors, and child study team members, as well as six administrators. We did that last Thursday. Um, Carlo Tantilla Filbert is an international presenter and speaker and she is the founder of Mindful Practices. Um, and what was great about this is those 54 teachers were representative of all of our six schools. Um, and to bring them together and to hear the comments at the end of the day about how motivating this speaker was and how they looked forward to going back and sharing what it is that they learned um, when the school year starts with their colleagues, uh, there's no better cheerleader than to have teachers and administrators who, who are doing that. Carla will also be back and in the classrooms with our teachers, um, working with our kids. But it is a, a huge initiative um, that Christine um, Zimmerman and Mike DeToro, as well as a couple of other people, have really jumped on board and embraced. So I'm so happy it was successful. It was a full day. Um, I don't think I spoke to Christine until 5 or 6 that night at the end. So I want to just 
to send out a congratulations to all, and I'm happy it was so successful. Sometimes PD is great, sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's just not that great. You wish you didn't go, and this was one of those places where it really turned out well. So that's my report tonight. And just to note that this is an MSF funded uh, initiative, right? This is an entirely MSF funded mm -hmm. initiative. So thanks Thank for you that. for saying that. They were originally going to do um, only 25 teachers, and they decided to double the, uh, the grant amount. So I want to say it's approximately $36,000, $37,000. Did, did any MSF folks show up at that day? Or no parents. Um, it, was oh, really just just, it was really just, uh, it was just us here. Uh, but there and, will be, and we can convey to them how wonderful this was. And, that the and I'm so happy that you brought that up. And yes, we will. And I believe that Carla was going to do a parent evening of mindful practices cool. back in June. And it was canceled because of the death in her family. Yeah. So parents will reap the rewards of, of the MSF. And thank you for bringing that Very up. Cool. I was just talking about its mm -hmm. importance. Thank you. So she, she will just go with parent? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Leaker. Okay. Uh, no report this evening. And Mr. Fair. I'm good. Yes, he is. You are. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> Can I ask your mother for her opinion? No. <laughs> she loves me. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Uh, we do not have a president's report this evening. Um, do we have any board committee reports? Um, policy. Policy Committee has nine policies and eight regulations on tonight's agenda for a first reading. The first six on the agenda had only minor revisions and language changes. Policy and regulation 5610 suspension and policy 5620 expulsion places limits on out-of-school suspensions and expulsions for students in preschool through second grade. <coughs> it also requires early detection and prevention programs to identify students who are experiencing behavioral or, and, or disciplinary problems. Uh, policy 8550 only deals with unpaid school lunch charges. All of these policies and regulations were reviewed and approved by the policy committee. Yes. May I uh, ask a question that you brought to my mind? I read those policies, 3200 series, and my question was it, it crossed out the word written and put annual, but aren't they annual written reports that are given? Which policy are you referring uh, 30, to? All the ones dealing with the evaluation, evaluation. 3200 series. Yeah. I, I saw you cross out the word uh, written. And then the annual, I said, well, usually they're annual written reports. But are they? Why was it? Probably because they're electronically submitted and not actually written. It's also now, now they are. Yes. Now they are. It's also defined more as annual performance report. It's a correct defined term used to describe a teaching staff member's performance report. The proposed amendment does not allow us to alter the policy or practice. So we still continue <coughs> what we're doing, but they're submitted electronically. But the teachers signed off on that. They do. So there had to be a written trail somewhere. But, but there are districts where, in the state of New Jersey, an electronic signature is perfectly okay. It, it can be deemed as, as if they're handwriting their signature. It. And that's what our teachers Okay, thank you. <coughs> thank you, Chairman. Oh, board member remarks. Now to old business, can I have a motion for 14A and D? Second by Ms. Conoco. Mr. Denise. Yes. Mr. Gallo. Abstain on 14A, yes on B. Uh, Mr. Kismarski. Yes. Ms. Conoco. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Yes. And Mr. DeSilva. Yes. <clears throat> I have a motion on 15A through II. Mr. and Mr. Gallo. Thank you. Mr. Baker. Mr. Denise. Yes. Mr. Gallo. Yes. <clears throat> stay on. Any sort of stay on the city? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Skip me ahead. <laughs> I'm abstaining on checks 086814 and 086937. Thank you, Kyle. Mr. Kismarski. Yes. Are you on staff? Mr. Kismarski. Yes. Ms. Conico. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Yes, I'm all except I'm staying on 15 II. 
And Mr. De Silva. Yes. And I'd like to entertain a motion on 16A through R, please. Mr. Trickowitz and Mr. Commercial. Questions or comments? Mr. Denise. Yes. Mr. Gallo. Yes. Mr. Kismarski. Yes. Ms. Conico. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Uh, yes, at all except I abstain on 16F. And Mr. De Silva. Yes. And public questions or comment? Uh, the section of public petition participation will be limited to 15 minutes. <clears throat> Evelyn Slotbrow, 43 Thunderhead Place. Um, I noticed on the portal that um, there is now the SGO um, section, but when you click on it, nothing really happens. So I wanted to find out when that's going to be up and running. We'll get back to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best I can do with that. Okay. And then just um, can you give a, a quick um, like description of this front line technologies um, because I guess I'm confused because don't we um, contract out our substitute teachers so I guess what is this going to what's the difference and what, what, what specifically is this going to do? source different? for teachers they mm -hmm. managed all of the information for the employees they did that on their own in this case, we're hiring the management com company to do it so that all of the records for those people who are employed in the substitute company will remain to us and then they'll give us back a credit for monitoring that system. Okay. That's what that's for. Okay. Going back to the SGO, Ms. Slotbauer, where on the website did you locate this? Within a school? Uh, yeah. Website? High school, yeah. So the high school portal. website and the portal, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, you know, SGO underneath report, you know, grades, etc. you know, and um, you click on it, you know, for the student goal objectives, and I guess eventually we're going to be able to see what our, you know, what they, um... And you're doing this within your son's mm -hmm. portal. Understood. Yep. I don't know through the, the answer to the that. parent view or the student view? Parent. Parent Yeah, I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Perhaps it's a tab that's used in other purposes, but it remains the same as a template moving forward within the portal. I don't know the answer okay. to it, so rather than make one up, I'll yeah. find out. <laughs> No, I'll find out. No, it just, um, you know, I guess it's new now because I don't, rem I don't remember it being there. Maybe it was, but I don't remember it being there that you could click on it. But. Okay, that's why I'm saying I don't know if it's new, not new. I don't know if it, it goes across the board and it's only for teacher purposes, okay. but okay. I'll find out and I'll send you an email. Okay, because sometimes I go in on mats instead of signing into my own, and when I signed in for the report card, I noticed it there. So. Okay, okay. and that was on yours through the portal. Yeah. I'll check yeah. it out. Okay, thank you. Thank you.